Today I want to take a look at Manage Metadata with Microsoft Flow. So in the SharePoint Online Admin Center, we have the ability to view the Term Store and define Manage Metadata, which I've done here. created a term set and put in four different terms for us to test. In SharePoint Online, we'll go ahead and spin up a new list. And we'll kind of give this a name here. And we're going to go ahead and add a managed metadata column. We'll name that column code language and we'll collect uh, different hyperlinks, kind of the shared bookmarks. And we'll reference back up to our list of different coding languages. Looks good. We'll hit OK. All right, so there's our list. And just to test things out. We'll go ahead and put in one of our resources and we'll tag this up to JavaScript as a manage metadata term. There we go. Okay, so we know that the field is working and we have a list ready. Now when you're in Microsoft Flow and you want to populate manage metadata, you can't just provide the text. So here we are filling in Manage Metadata Demo is the name of our new MS Flow. We'll go ahead and do a manual trigger and create. So in here we're going to add a step and go search for SharePoint List. And I want to come on down. There's a few different things. We can create an item. And here we need to enter in the URL and the name of the list. So we'll go ahead and put the URL down. Good. And we'll put the name of the list in here. There we go. So for title, we can go ahead and fill in MS Flow demo. And for code language value, it's interesting. You can go ahead and pick a, a hard-coded item. Now, if we do a custom one and we type in a, a string or if we're working with a variable, you know, that kind of thing, it, it wants to autocomplete and look it up. So what we're going to do is add a new step for a variable, and we'll use that to apply the, the value for the managed metadata. So here we have a string variable, mm tag. I'm going to go ahead and set it equal to the word JavaScript. Come down here to the SharePoint item. And instead of picking from the list, we want to do dynamic content. Come over here and grab the variable from the earlier step. Save the flow and run the checker. Looks good. OK, we'll go ahead and test it out. Perform the trigger action manually. It's trying to add an item. Want some permissions. Run the flow. Beautiful. So it's executing. We can go over and monitor it. Now here we can see that test failed. We can drill in, navigate, and we'll see that this failed on creating the item by sending the word JavaScript with a 400 code. And it says the data returned from the UI was not formatted correctly. That's really all that it tells us. And what it's trying to get at is that we didn't provide the GUID number of the term. Something important to know with managed metadata is you can rename the tag. You could rename the display name, the string, and have all the current references remain intact because SharePoint's actually tracking that as a GUID number, not a string. And here we're only providing a string. So it needs a little more. The way to fix this is to send over the string value, a vertical pipe, and then the GUID number. And that's a more complete reference that will successfully save. So we'll go ahead and update. OK, so leaving the run history and going back over to edit flow, what we want to do is put in the GUID number for that particular term. If I come over here to Manage Metadata, I can actually look up the unique identifier by first clicking the term on the left side tree and then finding it here at the bottom. We can copy that over, go ahead and bring it into our Edit Flow dialog, paste it after the term, so term, pipe, GUID number, save it, and we'll run a fresh test. I'll perform the trigger action. OK, 
connecting, run flow, successfully started, go monitor the output. And here we see test succeeded. So the first one failed with the string only, and the second one worked where we have the term, a pipe, and the GUID number. And the first one was simply the term only. So that's the big difference. If we go over here and check out our list, we can successfully see our new item was created with the Manage Metadata term. So if you ever come across HTTP 400 in Flow, that's what's going on. Best way to fix it, get the GUID numbers to go after the term, and then you'll have things running just fine. Thanks for watching.